Morning. So, Oki Shaver, Patrick, decided to share another shave with you. Um, something I got within the last couple weeks, couple things I got in the last couple weeks, um, I wanted to uh, do a shave with today. Um, but I traded for this, it's a 1920 Gillette Bulldog. It's replated, I don't remember if it's just the silver plate, rhodium, I'm not sure what. Um, but it is, to me, very pretty razor to begin with. And then with the replay, it makes it really look good. Um, it's got a pole silver second use, I think, in it. Um, and a buddy of mine <clears throat> who lives not far from me, I've kind of got him into wet shaving. And um, I bought us a couple bottles of this a couple years ago. And it's uh, he ran out. And uh, I'm pretty close to running out. And he bought us... Um, to the bigger bottles of the Old Spice uh, Fresh Lime. This is from India and uh, is, smells really good. I really like this stuff. Um, and for soap, I was looking back through the videos I did and I've not used this. It's a uh, uh, shave stick and it's La Toy Ya, La Toy Ha, something like that. La Toy Ha, I guess is what it is. Um, I think it's from Spain. Smells like soap, that's about it. And uh, for the brush today, I'll be using the uh, vintage rubber set that uh, Caleb Kusick redid for me. It's got a humongous badger knot that I got from a Dan Bar from Dan Varga, I think. Uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and get soaked up. And shave sticks, you just wet your face. I did use the uh, Sterling Mentholated Pre-Shave Soap. Wet the end of your stick in the water also. Just put on the soap. Like so, so. So you think you got enough? And if it's too much, it's too much. And if it's not enough, you just put some more on. A simple way to shave. And it's cheap to boot. <clears throat> so, shake so out the excess water in this batter brush. I don't use this brush a lot because it's it does hog it up the soap I mean this is the best way I found to use it I don't know for something I'm doing wrong or this this knot is just like a uh, sponge so to speak Soap seems a little thick, so I'm gonna add a bit of water. The, uh, the shaves that these shave sticks give you are probably not comparable to an artisan soap, but they're not as nearly expensive as an artisan soap either. So <clears throat> if you're looking to shave on a budget, these are not overly expensive. I want to say Rob Vineski sent me uh, this stick. Anyway. Here we go. Pass one. I do have a bit of growth. I haven't shaved since Friday morning.
in a we're in deer season here so it's hard to uh shave and use a <coughs> soaps that have a scent to them Hope this finds everybody good and well. And uh, if not, I hope you're mending up from whatever you got. My daughter and uh, son-in-law found out this week that they have uh, COVID. Mostly just uh, the things they have are like uh, sinus stuff. Very tired, no sense of smell. Like one of my wife's hair was attacking me. Put that in her sink. All right. Love that pass too. Yesterday was the, uh, here, college uh, football is as big as anything. And the rivalry here is Oklahoma University versus Oklahoma State University. I happen to be an OU fan just because. My, uh, mostly because my in-laws are very much oh you fans And OU won last night. I want to say 41-13, something like that. <clears throat> and I say that about my in-laws because a story I like to tell is my wife's grandpa, who owned his own construction company and was a carpenter his whole life, like most of my family was. OU and... Uh, Kansas State were, for a few years, the team to beat in the Big 12. Well, OU lost to Kansas State this particular Saturday. And her grandpa, who uh, would turn the TV on and watch the game, but he would turn the sound down and listen to the radio play by play. Bob Berry was the guy who did it then. They lost to Kansas State this day. So he really didn't know what to do that day. He was kind of beside himself and he uh, went over. He needed gas for whatever reason. He was retired but he had to have something to do to get, him, get himself out of the house. So there's a convenience store about, it's about two and a half miles from where I live and about uh, 
about the same distance from where he lived. Actually, there, the place there that they had is just across the pasture from us. He said, so he went over there and he pumped his gas and he said he went in the pay and he said, could you believe but there were people in there laughing and talking and joking. He said, don't they know that OU lost today? And that's how serious her side of the family takes it. My uh, sister, <clears throat> the guy she's married to now, we had our first conversation, so to speak. And, you know, they've been married for years now. But he went to OSU on a football scholarship. But he went to medical school at OU. And I said, oh, so you're an OU fan. He looked at me and... uh. I'm absolutely not an OU Sooners fan. <laughs> so it's just uh, pretty serious stuff around here. Probably a lot of people still aggravated and will be all week, I'm sure, because their team, the Pokes, OSU Cowboys lost. All right, I'm out for third pass. Just need enough for cleanup on this one. I did buy something pretty neat on eBay this week. Christmas is coming up and I'm still buying stuff. Well, it'll be all right. <coughs> but it's called the uh, Big Six from English Leather. I'm not sure when it was made. But it's brand new all in the box and it's got English Leather Lime. English leather, Timberline, and um, Windrift. And it's got two colognes in it. Uh, I think Ginseng is one of them, and Musk is the other one, I think. I've been wanting this for a long time, and I found a, a deal I could live with, so I went ahead and bought it. Merry Christmas to me, I guess. I almost used a uh, set today. It's been a while since I've used one. For some reason, I'm wanting to... I get into kicks where I only use this traditional stuff. And even though this... I say traditional vintage, so to speak, or maybe barbershop is a better word to describe <clears throat> kind of what I'm wanting or wanting to use. But even though the... The soap is, of course, from Spain. It's inexpensive. Works good. Yeah. And uh, the uh, Old Spice is new. It's, you know, kind of a... 
<clears throat> a uh, drugstore throwback, so to speak. You know, you used to when you go and pick up your blades, your soap, your everything that you needed at the drugstore, you know, spent 60 cents on it <laughs> and griped about that, I'm sure. <clears throat> Sometimes I get into the habit or get into the wanting to do that, maybe. All right. I want to say this has got the atomizer on it, which I'm not really used to on the aftershave splashes, but uh, and I think he got this at West Coast Shaving. Oh man, that stuff smells so good. And uh, what we used today was the uh, it's 1920 to that bulldog. Ain't that pretty? I like it. Uh, I've always got it in my mind how to say this correctly, and I always say it wrong. Otoha, uh, shave stick from Spain. Um, Old Spice Fresh Lime. If you've not tried this and you like the traditional scents, this is one you should try. And uh, last but not least, the uh, Redid Rubber Set. Beautiful brush. I really like it. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> I'll uh, end the video now. I do appreciate y'all watching and sharing your time with me. Um, be careful out there and we'll see you next time. Thank you.